following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Welcome to another Artist Cave video. I'm Sal. Thanks for watching. Uh, today I wanted to touch upon something that I've been asked about a lot in the past, especially in the comments section. Um, <laughs> students have asked, because uh, we do go over it in class, but uh, it'd be kind of cool uh, for me to just show the process of drawing a face. Uh, today I'm going to use an anime style for the face. Um, so let's, All right. let's pull this up. So I, I kind of already sketched out, uh, you know, the shape of the head. Uh, the reason I did this is just so, to show uh, it always kind of starts with a circle and then however you want the chin to be. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect because obviously this is a sketch. So uh, from here, uh, you can use a ruler. I always say start right down the middle and if you have a ruler try to be at 90 degrees and then you can kind of move it obviously this head is not proportion so if that's the case you can actually turn the head a little bit if you're working with paper uh, you can just turn the paper and then make sure your ruler comes out and there we go so then just draw a line going down and then you want to draw a line going across. Nothing, nothing crazy. These guidelines are going to help you make a symmetrical face. Uh, so from here, general rule of thumb is the center line is kind of your first eye. So the rest of the, you have to have five eyes apart. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So. And just using your own face as a measuring stick, you see your eyes kind of meet at the halfway point of your ears. So you can you make an elf or what have you. You can make the ears whatever shape. But we're not going to worry too much about the ears right away. Um, it's mostly mapping out the face. So then from this center point, you're just going to go down quite a bit to where this circle meets this line. And that's gonna be the starting point of your nose and just a little bit below it, your mouth and then the chin. As you can see, the, the face is starting to come, a, come along already. So from here, you, you could pretty much just sketch whatever you want. Uh, we're gonna do anime style. So uh, obviously I like to do the eyebrows just because Eyebrows show a lot of emotion right off the bat. Uh, see, if I'm mad, um, if I'm happy, your eyebrows kind of go up. Um, if you're sad, it'll scrunch up a little bit, but use use your own face as, as a way to kind of tell your story. Uh, the same way how I said in the last video where uh, doing... Uh, Doing voices kind of helps you, uh, you know, kind of create your character a little bit. Uh, so I still haven't figured out if I'm going to make a girl or a boy. But let's just go with uh, a boy since he's angry. And he's ready to knock somebody out in a school park. Now my anime style is a little different than anybody else's. So obviously your style is going to be different from, from anybody else's style. So... However you want to do the eyes, it's completely up to you. Um, I don't go as big as normal animes. So, for example, um, I have some, some anime books and they make huge eyes. And the reason for that is because, again, it shows emotion. And uh, you, can, you can tell a lot from someone's eyes. Uh, anger, sadness, frustration. Now you can draw the bridge of the nose. You don't have to, especially if you're doing an anime style, you can just kind of uh, draw 
where the shadow of the nose would be. And if you want to, you can use a symmetry tool. Uh, most programs have it. Uh, it's a, just a line here. I'll, I'll draw it over here just so you can see. Because whatever you draw on one side will show up on the other. You don't have to though. Especially if you're just doing a sketch. A sketch doesn't have to be perfect. A sketch just has to kind of tell you where your art's going to show up. So... Obviously, when I go in and actually touch up this sketch, uh, it's probably going to look vastly different than what I envisioned, and that's okay. Now, when drawing a character, you don't have to draw the hair right away. I like to do another layer for the hair just so that if I need to make any changes, I can. So, now we can kind of detail the ears. Nothing, uh... Nothing too detailed in this in this sketch, because like I said, this is just getting the the character down a little bit. And then we could draw the pupils, and maybe just draw a little circle for the iris. And there you go. Now you have the face. So. If you're drawing on paper, uh, you can just draw really lightly with a pencil. And once you have the sketch down, you can actually tighten it up with uh, by pressing the pencil down a little harder or switching to a, a pen or a marker to draw over the pencil sketch. If you're doing digitally, uh, you can just keep this layer there uh, just as a guide and just lower the, uh, the opacity down. So now you can actually go over that sketch uh, with a darker The pencil tool is my favorite obviously I, I use it all the time but from here you can If you wanted to just use the sketch underneath you can just take that same sketch copy the layer So I'll, I'll show you that real quick. So I'm just gonna hide this layer real quick if you like this layer if you think you you like that finished product you can just duplicate it hide the original and then you can lock that layer and with a hard brush just color it black and now you can erase all those guidelines unless you want to keep them in there it's completely up to you if you want to keep them in there uh, forgot to unlock it And now it's already in black, so you can keep adding detail to it if you want. I like to draw the bridges of the nose, uh, but like I said, it's completely up to you if you want to do that. And you can make your eraser just a tad bit smaller, so you can really get in those uh, eyes and get rid of those lines that you made. And this is only if you're duplicating the layer. If, if you're drawing over it, you'll still see that there. So no harm, no foul. And if this was a girl, uh, what you would do is you either thin out the eyebrows a little bit, add some eyelashes, uh, thicken the ends, uh, this is more of a comic book style, but uh, in comic books you thicken out the, the ends and you can see you easily can transform it into a uh, female. Uh, you can even add uh, s some lips here. So I'll add some lips. And then that layer that I was talking about, you just add another layer. And now you can draw the hair. This is one of my favorite things to do is just to sketch um, concepts and 
some sometimes concepts you have to do close-ups of a character's face and so you could draw the whole body in in one one piece of paper and then on the side of it you could draw the close-up of the face and since we decided <laughs> midway in the drawing to make it a girl then you could just add those little details So the main difference in comic book style is the eyes look more realistic and not so big. Uh, so now we can merge those two layers. And you could do all the little touching up that you need to do, get rid of that original blue line. I did a, a Ninja Turtles piece, and uh, you can see you can still see a lot of the non-photo blue that I used, and I just kept it in there. Sometimes it's nice to just leave a little happy mistake in there, <laughs> and you can even add some earrings. And there you go. I, I hope that that helped. Uh, anybody out there kind of struggling with drawing faces uh, and like I said you don't have to follow uh, my style exactly you can uh, you can kind of come up with your own style uh, especially with with eyes uh, I'll show you the difference of changing the eyes can do uh, just quickly erase this one here uh, let me duplicate it just so we don't lose the original sketch. Um, if I were to erase this eye here, and if I wanted to, create an anime eye. Obviously, there's so many different types of anime eyes you can do, but they tend to put the eyelashes on the corner. Now it looks like uh, the uh, Battle Angel character. Like you see the difference now. This is uh, uh, bigger, and this is more. Uh, I call it streamlined. So those two major differences there. So I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, if you have any questions, concerns, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, like if you enjoyed it, thumbs down if you didn't like it or you feel like you didn't learn anything. Obviously you did. <laughs> uh, but again, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to keep it over 9,000.